Hello everyone, I want to have another conversation about glue again today, in particular bottles that we can purchase inexpensively to make life easier for ourselves. Now, I think it's fair to say that art glitter glue is one of the most popular glues right now and I think the reason we like it is because of this precision um, metal tip that we can purchase to go on the tip of the bottle. It just allows us to glue um, small amounts to tiny weenie embellishments. Let me just give you an example. So this is just a plain piece of black cardstock, but you can see we can apply a really fine bead of glue, little dabs as well for small pieces of ephemera and embellishments, which just makes this glue incredibly versatile. But there are alternatives and I want to share some of those with you today. As you can see, I've got a selection of bottles in front of me and I just want to have a chat about this one first. This is an icing bottle by Sweet Sugar this Bell. be familiar to some of you as I know Know that many YouTubers have started decanting their Fabri-Tac and 3-in-1 into these kinds of bottles just because the nozzle on the 3-in-1, the opening is just a little bit too wide and just too much glue comes out. So many have been resorting to the sweet um, sugar bell bottles. Oh, these bottles are fantastic. They look the part, don't they? And you can see that I've already decanted some of my Colol glue into one of these. It works really well. I love the fine nozzle. Let me just give you um, a sample. You can see it comes out in a really nice fine bead, much better than the um, Fabri-Tac bottles. Um, but there is a downside. These are incredibly expensive for us to purchase here in the UK. As I'm aware, you can only purchase these bottles in packs of two. And a two pack will set you back £9.18, including postage and packaging. Um, I got mine from Amazon. So that is just for the bottle with the tip. Be careful careful if you decide to go down this route because they are cake decorating bottles. They come with different sizes of, of tips so you've got to choose um, the right one for you. This is the finest nozzle, nozzle which I think for most of us crafters would be the one that you would want. Um, absolutely perfect for you know most of our applications so that's the one that, that I went for. Um, but the downside is you have to buy the silicon tops separately. Um, these only come in a pack of four as far as I can see and this will set you back another £8.69, £8.69 for a pack of four of these silicon lids. So you are talking just less than £20 um, to set yourself up with, with two of these, which I think is just really expensive and probably out of most people's reach. Now there is a cheaper alternative and some of you have been commenting on the fine tip bottle that I've been using on my YouTube channel. I just decant some of my um, three-in-one glue, Kalal glue, um, you know, even some of my white glue into these small little bottles. You can see I've got three different sizes of bottles in front of me. The smallest holds 10 millilitres of glue. Um, this one here, the middle size one, holds 30 millilitres of glue and this one 100. These two have both got metal tips, um, really fine metal tips and these are the same as the whole size on the Art Glitter Glue. So this, you know, is a really cheap um, alternative. Let me just um, pop that um, pin back in. Now, rather than having um, a pin. These have got a little plastic um, tip. It's attached via a collar. I find the collar really annoying so I tend to take mine off. Um, the trouble is then you have a tendency to lose them because of course it just blends into your background. You could actually paint the tip maybe with some bright coloured nail polish to you know help it be more visible on your craft table but you know I always seem to, to find mine in the end. So that's the 10 mil, that's the 30 mil, this one here is 100 mil. This one is slightly different because this one has a plastic um, tip. Again, a really small hole, slightly larger than the metal tip, but you can actually um, purchase 100 mil bottles with a metal tip as well if you wanted to. But these are a great inexpensive alternative. Now, price wise, I've just had a look on eBay. 10 of these 10 mil bottles will set you back £3.99, including postage. This is to the UK, of course. I think these are all imported from China. Five of these 30 mil bottles will set you back £3.23. And two of the 100 mil bottles will cost you £3.28. So they really are inexpensive. And as I've said, if you want a 100 mil bottle, you can actually purchase them with the metal tip as well. 
as you know, I'm a great fan of art glitter glue, but I have been asking myself recently, what is it I really love about this glue? Now, you know, there's no denying this glue um, dries incredibly quickly. I don't experience any buckling whatsoever, but is that because of the glue or is it down to the fine um, precision no nozzle that's on the top? So I have challenged myself to use some of the other glues that I have in my stash. And this is just um, a little small selection. I've got two bottles of Anita's Tacky Glue, which I have popped into the 100ml bottle. Um, I've also decanted some of the Aline's as well into the smaller 30ml bottle. And I've also decanted some of this Tonic Studios um, glue as well. And I'm going to try them in these fine nozzle bottles and see how I like them. Because the only reason that I have discarded these glues is because of the nozzles that make them impossible for me to use. Now, the Tonic Studios for for instance, comes with this plastic top. I've cut it off today um, just so that I could decant it um, into, into this bottle here. Um, it comes with this plastic top and the idea is that you snip it, but then if you don't put a pin in the top, then the, 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 the top just clogs and if you don't have a stainless steel pin then it will turn your glue brown so it's just not very convenient um exactly the same with the uh, lean's tacky glue i've cut the top off and then i've had to find something to stop the glue from drying out so you know i've got a skewer inside of this which you know just gets wedged into the end it's just impossible to use and the same with the anita's as well now anita's glue does come with this plastic top but again i just find that the nozzle the whole is just way too big um, it gets clogged as well and it just puts me off I just find them really inconvenient to use so I have decanted all of these glues um, into these bottles and over the next few weeks I'm going to challenge myself to see how I get on and see how they compare to my art glitter glue course for those of you that are impatient and think that this is a great way to solve your glue issues I'll leave links to where you can purchase these bottles from in the description box below but you know if you search needle tip glue bottles on either eBay or Amazon you'll find um, a really vast selection of bottles just like this um, I love the sweet sugar belt bottle and you know I'm really grateful for the lady that recommended this but for us in the UK I just think it's it's really expensive and I think that these bottles here will do the job just as well. So I'm going to be using up my old glues out of these bottles that I've decanted them into and we'll see how they compare with my art glitter glue. And I'll share my thoughts as I go along. Oh, just a little tip if any of you have got old glue that you've had lying around and it started to go a little bit thick and gloopy white glue which is water-based just add a few spritzes of water give it a good shake and that should thin it down and if you've got glue like three in one or color glue fabritac and that started to go a bit thick as well you can thin that down using acetone or nail polish remover or even um, isopropyl alcohol as a last resort as well so just you know add a few drops and that will thin your glue down. I hope today's video was helpful and maybe it's given you some ideas for your own glues as well. Um, of course, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below, especially if you've got some ideas for glue alternatives. You know, always interested to hear your thoughts. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.